Hey air signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Monday to see what you guys have in your energy. I will be starting um, August 1st doing dailies by Zodiac. So be watching for that. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Also, if you ordered a reading from me from July 11th forward, you will be receiving those today. They are all recorded. They're just uploading. Um, I ended up uh, in the hospital for a couple days. So, unfortunately, for those of you who ordered within the last week, I'm a couple days behind. So... But I'm all caught up from July 11th to the current. So if you haven't received yours yet, you will get it today. Thank you for your patience and understanding in that. Okay, air signs, what the heck? Ten of Swords. Dealing with somebody that you feel the minute you turn their back, they had a knife in it. And nine more to follow. You're finding out the truth, air sign. You see, he is the one with ten swords in his back, but he also has one sword in his hand, and that's the truth. And that's why that hurts so bad. That's why it's so betraying, because he knows why it all happened, and he feels like it was the ultimate just kick in the teeth. Um, but he's clutching that sword. He's holding on to that truth, and that truth is also what's going to help heal him. The person you are dealing with is the Empress and the Nine of Swords. So they have a lot of guilt about this. They could have cheated on you with the Empress. They could have been with somebody else while with you. And that's what they have so much worry and stress and anxiety. They're worried you're going to find out. They're worried when they tell you you're going to leave um, or end this. But they have a lot of guilt. They could have had the third party air sign, especially if you're with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a uh, Taurus. Um, it looks like they're the one that had the third party. Besides you, there was somebody else. And they are starting to feel just super, super guilty. This could be two air signs. Um, somewhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But this is one one of you is betrayed and one of you did the betraying with the Nine and Ten of Swords and the Empress coming out in that second position. Put yourself where you're at. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't make it. Oops. I'm going gonna, gonna to take those because I didn't call for them yet. All right. What's the energy coming in for our air signs? Thank you. All right. The Six of Cups with the devil in the on the bottom. So this person is feeling a lot of guilt, a lot of sadness, a lot of stress because they didn't want to hurt you. They don't want to hurt you, but they feel they have a past life connection with somebody else. Um, this could be the mother or father of your children that had the third party. Or this could be you, air sign, because remember, you can be in either position. They're both air signs here. Um, but it doesn't have to be just air. It can be any element. But both of you are in your thoughts today. Um, the energy coming in for you, air sign, is you will, if you're the one with the third party, you are going to move towards the person who you feel you have that soul connection with. And that's why this person is feeling so betrayed. Um, or it's happening to you. What's Spirit's advice in this connection? This person also doesn't know what to choose. They feel their Empress. They feel the Empress is their soulmate. They feel that they belong with that person. 
but they don't know how to deliver the news or they don't know how to tell this person. I feel this person knows about the affair, but they don't know that this person is wanting to completely cut this person off and move towards who they feel is that soulmate, um, possibly taking the kids with them if it's um, if there's kids involved um, or or leaving the home that where the children live. Spirit's advice for you is the Ace of Swords to take that truth and let it be the power and the source of your inspiration to rise from the ashes. This may burn you down to the ground, air sign. It may hurt you worse than you could have ever thought. But when we are at our lowest, when we are at our worst places in our life, we often find that's the best day of our life because it was our turning point. It was where we made the decision to get up and rise up and live in the truth. Also, that's for the person who is being cheated on. This is also advice for the person who has the third party. It's time to move in the direction of your divine guidance. It's also time to tell the truth to both these people I'm feeling. Um, you need to tell this person that you're wanting to leave and you're needing to tell this person what's been going on. This person has been in the dark um, for a while about this connection. But this is this is um, being able to speak up and have the, the protection of the divine around you. It's also waking up to the truth. Um, wow, the emperor is the outcome with the lover's on the bottom of the deck, this is your soulmate. This is your twin flame, air sign. No, that's why you can feel that connection. Um, your outcome, when you speak the truth and you walk your truth and live your truth, you raise your vibration to the match of your divine feminine. And there you go. So it's time to put the worry and the stress. Um, it's only causing more damage staying in this third party situation even longer. Um, you're, some of you are worried about the children. They're going to be just fine because this high vibration relationship you're going to have, you're going to be at your best. This is going to be the best anybody's seen you. When you walk in your truth, when you take that sword and look at the fire in the back. After you deliver the truth, it's like you set the place on fire and you turned around and walked away and you began your new life. Not literally. Are you going to start, you know, blow the shit up, but... It's like by you telling the truth, it's going to burn everything else to the ground. Put that nutrient back in the soil and give you what you need to grow. To become the emperor you're meant to be. And step into that twin flame connection. Because it's time to change the world, is what I just heard. It's time to choose love. To allow that love to guide you. To bring the two of you together. Because that's what's going to drive you in your soul's purpose. And bring change to the world to a situation even if it's one person's world you're bringing change with this emperor and empress it's time to move forward and live in that truth you know it you know the truth air sign you know you're meant with this person that's why you're stressing out so bad you didn't intend to fall in love with this person you didn't intend for it to become serious but within the first 10 minutes of being in the presence of this person you knew they were different and it was it was on from there you know like you can't stop these feelings you also tried to walk away from this person at one point in time and you couldn't stop thinking about them so you had to reach out to them again um even though you knew it was going to hurt the person you were with you had to do it you couldn't stop thinking about them um and being in the memories of them thinking about growing old with them you it's time to get out of this place of being stuck set that world on fire and see what you, the universe is trying to show you. Because you have to go through this spiritual rebirth. You have to go through this transformation. And purge and release whatever it is that is not serving you. Let's get one for this lovers here. Alright, the two of wands. Your lover is waiting for you. Holy cow. This is going to, you're probably going to need some good healing before you can move forward. Um, but you have to make the decision first. This is a clear cut reading air sign. 
you have to make the decision to move forward and do what's best for you. There's only one person in this card and she's got her blindfold off. She knows what decision she has to make. It's time to do it so you can begin this healing process um, and see what the universe is trying to show you because it's trying to bring you to the spiritual connection. Wow, look at that. The Hermit and Temperance back to back, my two spiritual cards. This is a di divine union. This is coming together. Communication is opening up. You're going to deliver that truth really quick there, um, air signs, because you got a lover waiting for you, and they're not going to wait any longer for you to untie that uh, rope and come towards them. Um, I do feel you are choosing them with the emperor and empress as well. Um, stepping into your power. Lighten the world on fire, air sign. What a beautiful reading. Um, for those of you who that resonates with, this person could have not been talking to you for a while and they're just going to out of the blue reach out to you. They could have been very cold, very distant, not wanting to talk. That's because they're putting the burden down. That's because they're trying to figure it out. Especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. There you are. Look at that. Wow. A very intuitive, connected, spiritually um, beautiful person inside and out. They had to put that burden down so they could move towards you, air sign, taking action with passion, bringing you into this twin flame union or soulmate connection. That's amazing. All right, air signs, like I said, I hope that uh, resonates with you. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Drop a like if you would so kindly, please. And I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless.